The word for the day is momentum. As in, we really need to figure out what we need to do to keep the momentum going from awake to state. Um, uh, if you haven't heard yet, the uh, 32 uh, cities that held awake the state rallies across Florida um, Tuesday drew something like 15,000 people. Um, considering you know they, the events were planned for less than a month and there was really no money for promotion or anything like that um, to get that kind of a turnout is, is a sign of two things one of very good organizational work um, from the top with people like Ray Seaman and Susanna Randolph all the way down to the the grassroots people locally who uh, pulled things together um, on their own with only, uh, you know, a very short period of time to put together um, a good event. And, you know, some of these events were as big as, you know, thousand plus people and things like that. And so the, the second thing that it's a sign of, of course, is that there's a growing recognition that things are broken in Florida. Um, not just from the fact that Rick Scott got elected and is going crazy or that um, the uh, legislature has a veto-proof majority and can do whatever they want, um, but the fact that at you know, a widespread look at different aspects of politics in the state shows that there's a lot of things broken. Um, whether it be candidates and campaigns and elections to DECs and, you know, some of the interest group activism. And this is not to suggest, of course, that there aren't a lot of hardworking people, a lot of smart people working in a lot of these areas. It's just that the big, bigger picture system is broken and that something needs to be done to change that. And so um, I'll have a blog post up shortly um, discussing the concepts of what things we could do to fix that system um, and it's it, you know it's the beginning of a conversation because I don't have all the answers obviously um, but I have been thinking about this stuff for a while and you know learning from successes and failures and jobs and volunteerism and you know just reading and learning and talking to people so I've, I've got a pretty good idea of what's going on <clears throat> And I have some thoughts of my own on what to do to fix it. And so the idea would be to start a conversation or technically really continue a conversation that's been happening for a while, um, but kind of ramp it up a notch and see, okay, what, what could we do to make the state better? What could we do to reform the political system and move things in a much more um, positive and effective and... Um, uh, efficient and, and in a direction that actually helps Floridians because you know it's in a, in a situation now where Floridians are not being served well um, and something needs to change that so we've got some momentum from the rallies um, and I think we have the a great ability to build upon that and make something really um, exciting and awesome happen um, and uh, that's where we're going from here and what, what do we do to do next and how do we get there and who's going to pay for it and who's going to do the work and um, what do we do to keep that momentum going so that's the conversation we should be having these days.